Okay, so I found this recipe for skillet enchiladas and we're gonna try to make it in the Ninja. And here is what you'll need. A little bit of vegetable oil. We'll need 12 corn tortillas. Pretty sure they need to be corn. A uh, small yellow onion. We'll need a pound of ground me, beef. Me, me. We are, there's, are you my little me. onion? Yeah, uh, helper. Helper, you're my helper. Yep, need a pound of ground beef. We're gonna use ground turkey. Um, just because it's a little bit healthier for us, but ground beef is recommended. Got a little, need a little bit of salt and pepper. Large can of enchilada sauce. This is 28 ounces. You also need some black olives. We're going to omit the black olives. We're not big olive fans. Um, and then you'll need two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And you will need a little bit of sour cream, just a couple dollops. I don't need um, don't need this much this 16 ounces you just need a, a little bit for a topping and that's all you need so let's get started first thing we need to do is dice our onion so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll save you the pain of watching me um, just so you don't cry okay bye go what are you gonna go do okay so what we're gonna do next we're gonna take um, all, there's a 10 pack here, we're gonna take all of them. These are the smaller, I don't know, you can see the size of my hand. They're not the big, huge corn t tortillas. This is a 10 ounce bag, I don't know the size, but we're gonna take all these and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I can um, do that. All of them. So, we're going that. to, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so you can see I took the tortillas, put them in a stack, and just ran a knife down them both ways. Those are my bite-sized pieces. So I have the Ninja, we're going to turn it to stovetop high. We're going to put a little bit of vegetable oil inside the Ninja and we're going to um, pan fry the tortillas. Okay, so in goes a little bit of vegetable oil. And then we are going to add in our tortillas. Helper can help me. Helper can help me. Go, helper, go. Push them in there. Good job. Okay, so what we essentially did here, and this took a little little time, um, but we essentially turned these corn tortillas into corn chips. Um, so, like I said, it took a little bit of time to make them crispy and slightly browned and, you know, corn chips. So I'm thinking you might be able to just buy some corn chips. But, um, so our, our tortillas are crispy, browned, we're going to take them out, put them in a bowl, and then we're going to brown and cook our ground beef. So I'm going to take them out. Okay, so I've removed the corn tortillas, and we're going to put our ground turkey in there. If you're using ground beef, you can do that too. You can also use chicken. Okay, so we are going to take our ground turkey and our onions, and we are going to brown them. Uh, it said to use a small onion, so you be the judge of how much onion you like with your ground beef, ground turkey, whatever. We are going to brown this. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just to give it a, the meat a little bit more flavor. Um, you can add your own seasoning if you like. I'm using a chop turner here. It's a really good tool for breaking up the, the ground beef and allowing you to turn it and cook it. I really like it. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below of where you can find this tool. You can go check it out. Highly recommend. Okay, so uh, once the ground beef or turkey or whatever you're using is done uh, and your onions will be softened, um, if you're using a high fat content um, ground beef or something, you may want to drain it. So I like to scoop everything over to one side and that allows all the grease to go down to the other end. And I can get a paper towel or a turkey baster and pull that grease out of there. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so you can see I was able to get a lot of that, mostly all of the grease out. And I just put a, the Ninja up on like a little, just like a little, um, whatever you call those, trivets or um, that's actually a little pot holder type thing. I just put it underneath there just to give it a little bit of tilt. So, okay, so now I'm ready to add in our can of enchilada sauce. Okay, so I'm adding in the enchilada sauce. We're going to turn this down to low. And we're going to let this simmer 
um, for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been simmering for a few minutes, um, maybe about six, seven minutes. Now we are going to stir in our corn chips that we made earlier, right here. Just going to put those in there. It is ready. Um, you can let it simmer for a couple minutes if you want, but it's actually uh, ready. And then we will top it with um, some sour cream and some cheese. And if you want your black olives or jalapenos, whatever you want to top it with, you top it with it. So there it is. We will try it out and let you know what we think. Okay, so there it is. Um, this is the first time we've made this, as with most of our recipes. But uh, there it is. I'll let you know what we think. So I actually think the taste of the skillet enchiladas is really good. I, I enjoyed it. I was a little confused, though, with going through the trouble of pan frying and crisping up your corn tortillas and then throwing them back in with the enchilada sauce. And then they got soggy again. So not too crazy about the, the soggy tortillas. So going through all that trouble of, of crisping them up and throwing them back in and they get soggy again seemed like a waste of time. Um, may try it with just a, a bag of corn chips and Fritos instead. Throw those in there. I think it might actually be better. Um, so that's my opinion. I think the flavor, the flavor is definitely there. So modify it, try it, and let me know how you all modify it. And if you try it and like it, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thanks. See ya.